you know about the people at least I want to speak to be for responsible for the world for my world and I am representing the Bedouin community at least I don't want to be you know representing everybody Bedouins are not uh, Jews of course I'm not big Zionists Bedouins are Muslims Bedouins are the nomad part of the Arab world we are part of the Arab culture we are Muslims some call us even the reform Muslims if you you know compare to Judaism because the secular Muslims I would say and uh, moving nomads, moving from place to another. So religion, Islam, wasn't part of our, a strong part of our, we say, background. Our story with the state of Israel didn't start with 1948 when Israel was established, but years before, 19, late 1920s, and then 1930s, and then until 1948 when Israel was established. And believe me, I'm going to make it just very short. Uh, those were the years that designed our. Uh, relations and our position and status as part of Israel, Israeli society, as Israel, you know, as part of Israel as a Jewish state. Uh, and what happened is that at those years, there were the Bedouins also used to live in that area. The Bedouins who are nomads, who were Muslims, part of the Arab culture. And what happened is that Bedouins have shared their uh, effort uh, to the building of the state of Israel. Bedouins have shared their uh, effort uh, to the building of the state of Israel. They gave their part to the state of Israel, to the building of, the, of the, 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 the Jewish settlements before Israel was established. In the worst cases, remains of Jewish families came during the 40s after the Holocaust from East Europe, Poland, and uh, Romania, and other places to Israel. Palestina used to be called then uh, to build their homeland. Bedouins were there, opened their arms. Uh, and uh, helped them settle down. And you know, the relations continued from there. Two different worlds. By the way, there was nothing to do with Israel yet. Jewish people led by Zionist organizations, 1940s, 1930s, 1940s, on one side and the other side, Bedouins who are part of the Muslim world, part of the Arab world, part of the Arab cultures. You know, th try to imagine, if you know the history of that, that, that area, our, our area, people who could be at the same time uh, enemies, foes, to fight with each other, but instead they built strong relationship, very strong, let me say, cohesive uh, ties with each other because they were looking for, searching for better future, one future, common destiny and common fate. They found themselves on the, set, on, on the same boat because everybody wanted to live. And that's what happened. And believe me, this is a human story that tells the entire story of the background of the building of the State of Israel as a Jewish state. Of course, 1948, what happened, Israel was established. The leaders of the newborn Jewish state decided, ask one question, what will happen to the Bedouins? Are they going to be part of the state of Israel? If Israel was established to be a Jewish state only? So the decision was to help them settle down, uh, solve our problems, social, economic, and there are many problems, and integrate them into Israeli modern society.